On June 12, 2009, most television broadcasters turned off their analog signal and went to a new digital format. Through media and the internet, and its own promotions, our government gave its best attempt to educate the public of the change. For those at the time who secluded themselves from all technology, newsprint, word of mouth, this change would leave them in confusion if they ever sought to be informed members of our culture. This video is for them. To receive television broadcasts for this video, we need three things. A TV, an antenna, and a converter box. Our television has dials on it, for crying out loud. You will notice there is somewhat of a picture on the TV. This is due to a low-powered TV translator nearby broadcasting the My Network affiliate in old-fashioned analog. Yet one thing I have to mention concerning the off-air signals that uh, come through with the broadcast. Uh, you have to have like a device that you know, can read those signals uh, accurately or you're going to be positioning the antenna all over the all over the house or get as many channels as you can uh, if they're not uh, quite strong enough. I use this thing, it's called a DigiAir uh, antenna reader, well I don't know if that's what it's called, it's basically what it is, just a little device like that. Really handy device, it allows you to uh, hook up an antenna to it and you can see uh, in the spectrum mode all the channels that are giving signal. signal. It also shows you like five channels at one time uh, that gives you signal meters with, which I'm going to be showing you here pretty quick. This device runs about $189 at or above. Uh, it's available at solidsignal.com and it's a, a wonderful asset to use when trying to determine the strength of the signal in your area. Here we have the current signal strengths for the rabbit ears we currently have hooked up. Going from left to right, channel 36 is CBS, channel 23 is NBC, channel 21 has the ABC translator, channel 17 is PBS, Channel 31 is Fox, and Channel 47 is the re religious affiliate 3ABN. Not shown is Channel 15, the Retro Television Network. Now we're going to have the converter box scan for the channels. With this menu, I go to Channels and Auto Scan, and Auto Scan again. The box is a Philco E175216. There are no channel buttons on the box itself. The remote is rather cheesy. The on-screen signal meter seems inaccurate. And when scanning, it does not list the channels coming in. But I like this box because it doesn't overheat like the other boxes I've used. It brings in the audio only stations great. And it's my first box, so I have an unnatural nostalgic attachment to it. Great, we have channels coming in. NBC, Universal Sports, the Mo This Movie Network, ABC, Telemundo, CW, and Fox. Hmm. So, where is CBS? Where is PBS? Where's my... RTN and religious stations. In order to find out the stations that are available in a certain area, that information is available at tvfool.com. All right, so here we are uh, taking a look at that website that I had mentioned here. So what I do is I'll go down to uh, check your address for free TV. It says click here. I'll put in my zip code, my address, and we're going to just state that the antenna height right there is about three and a half, four feet, so just say four feet and then hit the Find Local Channels button. And 
Now you'll want to uh, see what it says, current database. Now it will give you both the signal readings for your analog signals and your digital TV signals. And because we're looking to get as many digital uh, broadcasts as we can, because it's a whole lot clearer for one thing, um, and they are, it is always in an office of sub-channels uh, on the system, where it says current database, we're going to click only digital. And you can see in my area here, now the green is good. Uh, basically, the, uh, the green you know, states that the little set-top antenna that I have there should be able to sufficiently pick up the stations. The yellow uh, suggests that like an attic mounted antenna is probably needed to pick up the stations at that level above. And uh, the red pink is saying that you probably need to have an, uh, a rooftop outdoor antenna. We don't antenna. want to do anything extreme like installing an antenna outside. So another alternative is to upgrade the indoor antennas to be amplified. First, I purchased this multi-directional RCA antenna with an accompanying amplifier. I found that the antenna with the amp did not bring me a stronger signal than the antenna that was connected earlier. With that logic, I hooked up the amplifier to the antenna I did use before and received a better signal and more stations. I also went to Radio Shack and purchased their inline amplifier. I received a good strong signal and multiple stations as well. The problem with both of these is that if I move the antenna, I gained some stations and lost stations. I kept having to relocate the antenna based on the program I wanted to see. The last amplified antenna, the Philips Magnavox, did a fine job of bringing in all the stations, all the channels listed in the TV pool website in the green, yellow, and red. If you obsess with your signals as I have and manage to pull in stations in the brown area of the map on tvpool.com, whether by rabbit ears, attic antenna, rooftop antenna, or even on a high tower, post a video response video signifying your general area. Uh, and as you can see here, the digiator uh, is catching stronger signals. Final scan. You'll notice that the channel found light lighting up a couple times. Okay, cool. It starts with CBS, then my network, NBC, Universal Sports, this network, ABC, Telemundo, CW, PBS, PBS HD, PBS Learn, PBS World, Retro Television Network, Fox, Three Angels, Three Angels Spanish, Three Angels Radio, and Three Angels Radio 74. All right, that does it for today's tutorial. What I'm gonna be doing here uh, in the next tutorial, because now that we have a, a digital broadcast that pictures as clear as it can be, um, you know, it's like with the Grammys, they have the 3D Michael Jackson tribute on it and you know it'd be great you now if you're working with free TV it'd be great to figure out some way of recording that program. I'm going to show that option uh, with another gadget uh, for the next tutorial real short and uh, and then we'll continue on things that you can do with the uh, with the digital broadcast. Until then I will see you later.